so welcome students today we will start eighth mathematics so already for first semester we have covered first nine chapters so let's see the syllabus index so here already rational and irrational number we have covered then second chapter parallel lines and transversals then third chapter indices and cube root we have covered then altitude and medians of a triangle then fifth is expansion formula sixth is factorization of algebraic expressions seventh variations eighth quadrilateral construction and types and ninth discount and commissions so that we have covered and you have given the first semester exam so let's move to the part two for second semester so today we will start a 10th chapter division of polynomial okay so let's move to that chapter division of polynomials okay <clears throat> so first question fill in the blanks so background of that already you have, you have performed the addition subtraction and multiplication of algebraic expressions so let's see uh, you able to recall it or not so first question uh, we are adding 2a plus 3a so what will be the answer rohit 5a so 5a is correct answer so how we are doing addition so we are taking a common a and then we are adding 2 and 3 like this 2 plus 3 we are taking a common and its addition is 5 so answer is 5a then second subtraction so how we can do the subtraction 7b minus 4b so can you tell you can try So yeah, good try, but let's see how we can do the subtraction. So what we do, we take B common from the both the numbers because B is common. So I will take four, seven minus four, B is common. So seven minus four is three B, okay? So answer is three B. So this is for addition and subtraction. Let's see for multiplication. So what is the multiplication of three P into P square? You can try. Let it be wrong. You can just try. So 3p into p square. So 3 as it is. And whatever the power of p that will be added. So first p is having the power 1 and second is having the power 2. So it will be p raised to power 3. So answer is 3 into p raised to power 3. Getting? So same question for you. Fourth question. So can you tell? What will be the multiplication of 5m square into 3m square? Mm -hmm. Correct. Can you tell loudly? 8m square. So nice try, but see, uh, in the multiplication, we have to <coughs> multiply the numbers. So two numbers are there. What are the numbers? 5 and 3, 15. And in second bracket, we are multiplying the m square into m square. So we know that if multiplication is there, we are adding the powers. So it will be 15 and m raised to 2 plus 2, 4 power. Getting? Then fifth question. <laughs> so can you tell? Okay, so let's see how we can solve this. We are multiplying by 3 by x to the each number so 2x into 3 by x plus 5y into 3 by x okay so here x and x get cancelled x1 the x x1 the x now what is remaining 2 into 3 
So what is two into three? Six, right? Then in the second, five and three is there. So five three is a fifteen, and y as it is divided by x. So this is the answer: six plus fifteen y by x. Getting six plus fifteen y by x. And so next question: three x square plus four y into three x or two x plus three y. So how we are solving this? We are multiplying three x square to the second bracket. So second bracket is two x plus three y plus four y into again two x plus three y. Are you getting Rohit? Then we are multiplying three x square into two x. So it will be three two is a six and x square into x is Addition of the power two plus one that is x cube. Then plus three into three. Now second number. Three into three is nine, and then x square y. So this first term we have solved. Now next one, four y we are multiplying to the round brackets. So four into two that is eight and x y. Then plus Second term, four into three that is twelve, and y into y is y square. So this is the answer. Are you getting? So this was the brief background. Now we will see what is polynomial. So in polynomial, uh, there is one variable. Having the expression algebraic expression, so it is called as a polynomial. So see the example. In the example, x square plus two x plus three. So here this is the polynomial. Start from the power of the x, then a decreasing power x square, then a x, then constant. Same second example in terms of y. So first cube is there, then square, then y, and then constant. So this is called as polynomial in one variable. Okay. So let's see how we can so multiply two polynomials. So there is one example here: three x square minus two x into four x cube minus three x square. Okay. So now how we can solve this? So we can take the first term from the first round bracket, and we are multiplying to the Whole second round bracket, yeah. Same for the second term from the first bracket we are taking and we are multiplying to the whole second round bracket, and then now we are multiplying. So four three is a twelve, and x square into x cube. So addition of the powers two plus three that is x raised to power five. Then here is minus sign. So three into three. So that is three into minus three. That is minus nine, and x square plus x square. That is uh, addition of the powers two plus two. That is x raised to four. Okay. So now next minus two into four. That is minus eight, and then x into x cube. So addition of the power one plus three is four. So x raised to power four. Then now two is having minus sign and. Three is also having minus sign, yeah. So minus minus will become plus. Then two into three that is six, and x into x square. So one plus two that is three. So x cube is there. So now, uh, if the powers are same, then we can add that number. So that middle two numbers you can see, minus nine x raised to four and minus eight x raised to four. So that we can subtract. Means we can add and give the minus sign. So nine minus eight that is minus seventeen, and its power is x raised to four. Other term as it is twelve x raised to five, and last is six x raised to three. Are you getting? Then we will see what is the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so degree is the greatest index of the variable. 
okay so here you can see the example of the polynomial and here the highest index is 2 of that x so here degree we can call it as a 2 okay then second example is question for you what is the degree of this polynomial 7x cube plus 5x plus 4x raised to 5 plus 2x square so can you tell what will be the index uh, degree that is greatest index so here you can see uh, the highest power is 5 4 x raised to 5 so its degree is 5 yeah so degree is nothing but the greatest power of the variable now we will see how we can divide the polynomial so first we will see the monomial so what is monomial in that only one term is there so 15 p raised to 3 divided by 3 p so like normal division we can do this division so here we can see uh, there is p cube and we are dividing by p so <coughs> uh, we are multiplying with 5 p square so when we multiply 3 p by 5 p square so its multiplication will be just first uh, the multiplication of integers 3 into 5 that is 15 then multiplication of p and p square that is we are adding the power 1 plus 2 means 3 so we are getting a 15 p cube so we can do the subtraction so 15 p cube minus 15 p cube remainder is 0 so we are getting answer as 5 p square yes so very simple so let's solve the next question uh, here we have to divide minus 36 x raised to 4 by minus 9 x so let's do the normal division so here if we multiply minus 9 x by 4 x cube okay so minus 9 into 4 minus 36 and x into x raised to 3 that is addition of the power that is x raised to fourth power so here <coughs> uh, we are doing multiplying with 4 x raised to 3 and then its multiplication is minus 36 x raised to 4 and we are doing the subtraction so when we are doing the subtraction sign will be changed so this sign will be become plus so minus 36 x raised to 4 plus x raised to no, 36 x raised to 4 so its addition will be 0 are you getting so answer is 4 x raised to 3 then let's solve second one 5 m square divided by minus m so minus m we have to convert into m square so what we are doing we are multiplying minus m by minus 5 m so what will happen minus minus will become plus then 5 into 1 that is 5 and m into m m square are you getting so here we are answer is minus 5 m and then here we are multiplying with that so we are getting 5 m square then we are subtracting remainder is 0 and answer is minus 5 m okay last question so here we have to divide uh, minus 20 virus to power 5 by 2 y cube okay so here 2 y cube we have to make as minus 20 virus to power 5 so we are here multiplying with minus 10 y square okay so what will happen so minus 10 into 2 minus 20 then 
y cube into y square y raised to power 5 yeah so here the divisions answer will be minus 10 y square and when we multiply we are getting minus 20 y raised to power 5 and here we are doing subtraction so sign will be change so 20 y raised to power 5 minus 20 y raised to power 5 remainder is 0 and here answer is minus 10 y square getting so this is a polynomial so that's it for today so we'll continue next topic in next class thank you very much for joining this demo bye